Take 0.6 gram of nickel metal in a beaker. Add 10 milliliters of 1 molar sulfuric acid to it. A little excess of acid can be added later if required. Sulfuric acid attacks nickel metal very slowly. Tiny bubbles can be seen on the surface of the metal but not much is happening. To speed up the reaction a bit, add a few ml of hydrogen peroxide. This increases the speed of the reaction but not much. The strength of my 30% hydrogen peroxide has gone down a bit but it works. After a while, you can see a slight color change and it shows nickel dissolves in sulfuric acid in the presence of hydrogen peroxide but slowly at room temperature. On warming, the color darkens a bit. Do not boil the solution as it decomposes hydrogen peroxide completely. I have made this mistake. So, I had to do it again. Warming is sufficient. If the metal doesn't dissolve completely, warm it again after it reaches the room temperature. Now the metal dissolves completely in acid. The color of the solution darkens a lot. If the metal doesn't dissolve for you completely, add another 5 milliliters of 1 molar sulfuric acid and try again. Now boil the solution for 2 to 3 minutes to expel hydrogen peroxide. Allow it to cool at room temperature. On evaporating the solution at room temperature, beautiful bright green crystals of nickel sulfate heptahydrate crystallizes out. It is a hygroscopic and efflorescent solid. When exposed to air, it loses a water molecule slowly and becomes hexahydrate which is blue in color. Here I have taken 1.3 gram of nickel sulfate heptahydrate in a beaker. Add 0.6 gram of ammonium sulfate to this. Dissolve this in about 25 milliliters of water. Now heat the solution for about 3 minutes. As you can see the color lightens a bit. Still, it is green in color. On evaporating the solution at room temperature, bluish-green crystals of nickel-ammonium sulfate crystallizes out. It is a Tutton salt or double salt. In fact, it becomes more bluish in color when exposed to air.